five on Monday, August the first. All is well in the world because Cats is back. It's back. It's Welcome back. To our we spent the night partying with the kitty cats. We did. We did, and we have a kitty cat. We have a kitty cat here, here. Giuseppe Basilio. I said a very, very dramatic version of his name. He is Car Carbucketty. 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 Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, and he's here. And he's so here. we're going to talk to him so about a about very exciting night, night on Broadway. There's lots of photos up on the site. You've been doing well, actually, videos Actually, can I share day. this right now? This is amazing. So this photo came out. This is a really cool photo of Dad, as we like to call him, uh, Sir Andoid Weber. And look at that. Three shows on Broadway. So we have Leona Lewis, of course, Cats. We have James Barber, The Phantoms, and this guy, Alex, Alex Brightman. Brightman. Look at that. It's How does amazing. that make you feel? I'm really proud. And I mean, you know, I mean, Dad had a really rough time. I think it's, uh, not, you know, everyone knows yeah. um, the past few years, and we almost lost him. And the fact that he's back with two original looking shows amazing, on Broadway by the and way. a revival. Look at him. I, it, I mean, it moves me to tears. I mean, it's just incredible. So huge gift. So thank you, everyone, who's been going to see the shows. Yes, uh, yes, it, yes. It's just Three shows. Three, Three shows. shows. Three shows. Three shows. Uh, so what, a down. lot of news today. A lot of not news. news. So not all cats. Not all cats. cats. You know. Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh yeah, that show. Remember that? Mandy Gonzalez, who wasn't in the Heights. Mandy Gonzalez, who is amazing. She was also an amazing Alphabo. She did one of my favorite 54 Below Club acts I've ever seen. Anyway, she is going to be taking over as Angelica Skyler on Broadway. in October on, Bro on Broadway. We don't yet know when Renee is leaving or when she's starting. That's to be confirmed. Right. In Chicago, right. this is big casting. Yes. Joshua Henry yes. is going to be playing Aaron Burr. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Amazing. And he'll be joining Karen Olivo, right? Yeah, I mean the Chicago yeah. cast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago and cast. Jonathan Kirkland is going to be playing George Washington in Chicago. Okay, cool. So, I mean, it's all going. All I'm excited by all that. Them. Right. Um, this happened on Friday, speaking of School of Rock. Yeah, oh yeah. Jen Gambatis. Another one of my favorites, Jen Is Gambatis. going to replace Sierra ah. from August the 9th, which means Sierra is leaving on August the 8th. And then it means my friend is leaving and going to Paris. I'm sorry about that, but Jen Gambatis is awesome. Yes. And she was uh, in Hairspray back in the day. I don't think I've seen her on stage, so it's going to be exciting to Oh, her. she's great. And I saw her, she was um, in the Carousel. In oh, Chicago okay. with Stephen Pasquale. Oh, that oh, oh one. my that God! Amazing. That oh yeah, amazing and she is fabulous. So okay. congratulations, right. Jen. Um, Aaron Tveit and Jennifer Damiano united at Feinstein's Fifty Four Below uh, alongside Alice Ripley. Just sing Superboy and Invisible yeah. Girl. So that watch channel. it is up on the site. Check um, that out. Aladdin did pretty well in the grocers this week. Um, this is interesting. Leading odds and ends today. Brian Cranston, Tony winner for All the Way. Okay. She was the original Jane in Tarzan, Jen Gambatis. They wanted me to point that out. Okay. Oh uh, yes. I'm glad sorry. we've got that sorted. Said that straight. So sorry. Brian Cranston, yeah. Tony winner for All the Way. Yeah. Apparently, Big singer. Apparently is circling a Broadway musical. Mm. So now, revival. Revival. So mm. now... We figured, do, are you going to say what you think well, it no, is? No, it's not what it was me, it's Ryan McPhee. Yeah, Ryan McPhee, who's a genius. Who's a genius. What, is, what does he think? He thinks it might be My Fair Lady, which, which would totally make makes sense. sense. Because you don't really have to sing in My no, Fair you, Lady. You and let's face it, Brian Cranston is not known for his singing. You just talk sing. I can see him as Professor Higgins. Higgins. You know another role he could do, that, a big musical role you don't have to sing in? What? The Bodyguard. The Kevin Costner role. He could also do that. Tony Winner Brian Cranston. <laughs> All right, it's probably more my fair lady. More likely. It's probably my fair lady. So we've just put that up everywhere. Yeah. And then so, I imagine if it's not. But anyway. If, if, you, if that's what happens, Ryan McPhee's a genius. We a already genius. know he is. But yeah. then you'll all know. Confirmation. All, know. all right. Also in Osnan State, Lynn manuel Miranda wrote a musical called Chump Street. Right. And that's going to bow in London. It's like 14 minutes long. It's a thing. Okay. Is, is that going to be like a, a West End show? You no, it's, see a, 14 it's, it's, it's a showcase. Show? It's a showcase okay. of lots of All other right. things. But anyway, interesting. That's not Hello, Pennsylvania. Today. Thanks for Hi, joining us. Um, hot shot of Santino Fontana, Skylar Aston, and more in God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater from over the weekend. Which just finished this weekend, of uh, course. Also pictures from Broadway Barks over the weekend. I hope um, the people adopted beautiful little dogs. Casting set for Jenny Rachel Weiner's uh, Kingdom Come Off Broadway, which is a Roundabout Underground thing. If you've not been to Roundabout, Roundabout Underground, it's oh. a great venue. Yeah. I love that. Very yeah. cool. Um, my one on one with Jeremy Kushner is up. He, of course, is in the Oh, Animal. yes. Great lighting on that video, by the we, way. I know. We, we, you, you, everybody yes. looks fabulous in that we, video. We, we, you, um, let's we, shoot we everything covered, there. We covered, we covered loads of stuff as well. We covered Hedwig. Yeah. Do you want to be Hedwig? Superstar. It's really Very interesting. Nice guy. Really nice guy, and also very thoughtful advice for anyone who may want to go into acting um, and into the theatre. Because he's had ups, he's had downs, and he's a, he's very wise. So. He's very appreciative yeah, of like, having such really a big sweet. role in Paramore. And, so, yeah, uh, that's, we love Jeremy. have a look at that. Um, Jenna Ushkowitz, 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 Ushkowitz takes her first curtain ush, call. Ush, ush, ush. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly thing. And there's a Something Rotten video up. 
What video? I don't know if it was something important, but there's a something important video. Oh, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. But there's a better one coming up later this week, which is my interview with Will Chase. That's coming up. Which so. we're all very excited about. Right, I'm going now. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, let's bring Giuseppe Basilio in. I bought a new sound effect thing this weekend. And you, you premiered it. You premiered yeah. it. How are you? Man, I feel great. I just I'm met great. you last night for the first time on the red yeah. carpet. You <laughs> opened in Cats. I did. And this That's is not, insane. this is actually your fourth, fourth? This is my fourth, fourth Broadway show, but this is your one. first. My first uh, opening. Your first yeah. opening because you've, you've gone into uh, shows after the fact, right? Yeah. So yeah. how the hell do you feel? How, how was oh it? Oh my God, I feel amazing. It was incredible. Just being on stage at the end with Andrew Lloyd Webber or Daddy. Dad, <laughs> dad, yeah, dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> with dad, um, and you know Leona Lewis, of course, and needless yeah. to say, and just everybody in the audience, you know, Orange is uh, Orange is the New Black cast was there, uh -huh, and uh -huh. Tedesco was there, uh -huh. which I love, and my mom went crazy for at the after party. Um, Who was your favorite but, person you got to like talk to and meet? Oh God, I don't, I don't even know everybody. Everybody, the party, well, you, besides you. Uh, besides me. The party was at Gotham Hall. Yeah. Very the fancy, party was very Hall. nice. It was amazing. Uh, Andrew and Andrew were spinning on the dance floor. Did yes. you dance at all? Oh. Or were you like, I danced enough. I'm in caps. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out and eat. I danced a lot on stage, and then at the after party, we went off. Yeah, we you did? Off. Was it a late night? Was there like an after party? What happens? There you're was not, first of all, you're 19, be, correct? I'm 19, yeah. You're young. You're yeah. a young guy. <laughs> so you, I don't know. I don't know what, what exactly happened. But how late of a night was it? Um, it wasn't that late of a night. I mean, you know, Gotham Hall shut us down. It was an early show, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah you shut us down yeah. at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. It was a shutdown? Yeah. And oh. then there was supposed to be an after party, but no one really went. And I just went home with my family, and we had a good time at that. How was your family? They're great. They love the show so much. How many so people much. came? What was your um, posse like? It was my, my mom and my dad and a couple friends. Yeah? Yeah, it was it was really cool, and they were just so Can you? So I, no, I have some show and tell, because I've, I've been looking <laughs> you up. I've been, like, doing my research. Oh, will, will you explain this photo to me? This is Absolutely. a really cute that's, photo. Absolutely. Uh, that's from uh, my mom and my dad. They dressed us up like that. Yeah. Dressed up who? Which one are you? I'm the middle one. I'm the baby. Oh, that's uh, you? The one on the Aww. left on this side. And you brother, got, and you've got sister. dressed up like just in cats drag. Yeah. Just be, so as it was like, as uh, Victoria, apparently. Wow. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually audition for to be Victoria the White Cat? Uh, or? I, I don't think I would have gotten it. I don't think my No, I also found some photos. Oh there, oh, there you are. Ooh, I like that one. There you are. Yeah. That, that's, look at <laughs> that's that. Me. Look at that jump. You're midair there. You're not yeah. sitting on the floor doing, doing <laughs> no, it. No. Yeah, you actually, yeah. you go midair in yeah. this show. And then I like this photo a lot, right? Yes. That's your, that's your face makeup. Yeah, that was one, uh, that was after, after the show. Do you I like doing the, do you do the makeup yourself? They, give, they like show you how to do it? How, yeah, what's they the should, process I had, like? I had one Skype session with them. I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, you had one yeah, Skype? Yeah, I had one Skype, oh, Skype, Skype session. session. I love how modern, with like the makeup yeah. person. Yeah. And, and they went through it with you? Exactly, they went through it with us. Doing, you, you were doing uh, wrong or gave you tips. Exactly, because they were, they were in LA at the time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And then I just do it before the show every, every day. How long does it take you? Uh, it used to take me 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and now I'm down to 20. Wow. And everybody at the theater is kind of jealous. And you are 19, <laughs> but you're a veteran. Four Broadway shows. This yeah. was actually, you are a Billy Elliot. I, I was, All yeah. the Billy Elliots are growing up, people. So this is you Billy. and Faith Prince, right? <laughs> yeah. And this is on the, the tour, the Chicago? Uh, that no, was on the, the tour. National tour. Right, but you did it in Chicago. I did it as well, And you yeah. did it on the tour, and then you did it on Broadway. Yep. And how yep. old were you when you started Billy Elliot? I think I was 13 or 14 when I did it on Broadway. When I started, okay. I was 11, 12. It's crazy. I don't even know anymore. It's been. What was it like being a kid in a broad in a Broadway show like that? I mean, did it feel? I don't think I ever realized what it was because I'm originally from Switzerland. I was born and raised there. I moved here when I was 11. I know. You have an interesting life. You've had like an interesting yeah. life. Yeah. So, I'd say. Yeah. So yeah, you you grew up in Switzerland, <laughs> and there's also everybody yeah. something called. Excuse me while I get my notes. There's something called uh, this, uh, the documentary about you, Giuseppe Superstar. Oh no. Right? Yeah. Look no, it up on a... YouTube because in Switzerland, <laughs> it was such a big deal that you got Billy Elliot, right? Yeah. That they made like a documentary Fox, like showing your, and you barely spoke English. Barely spoke English. Uh, I knew like basic words like play, go, stop, dance, dance, <laughs> more dance, <laughs> jump higher. Um, I, think, I think I got, I got the role of Billy while 
basically saying yes all the time. Yes. They're like, do you like the dance? Yes. yes. Very much so. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. And your and you your parents, there's like what what do your parents do? There's like a, ba- a dance but your father. Yeah, my, both my parents are ballet dancers. My brother wow. is a ballet dancer with the Paris Opera Ballet. My sister's a carpenter. She made it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you have, but you were like a hardcore like ballet boy, like, yeah. right? Like oh, yeah. hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was when I was eight years old, I think I was debating between soccer or ballet, and then I tried soccer for two days, and then I was like, yeah, ballet's for me. All right, this is this is you too, right? <laughs> yep, is that's me and Newsies. At Newsies. You were oh Newsies. Oh my god! Look at you. You're in all the fan favorites. Yeah, shows. and he is now actually Luca is now in School of Rock. So oh my god, that's go Luca. Yeah, that's Luca. He's been on live at five. Yeah. I love that kid. Yeah, I didn't even awesome. realize. Look at you, and look with a cigar in your mouth. <laughs> and back here is John Michael Fumaro, who just got Hamilton in Chicago. What? Yeah. I love the uh, detail. He's photo bombing. <laughs> Wait, look, I love how serious he looks in that photo. You're like, yeah. he's not even supposed to be in that photo. <laughs> and this is also you. Yeah, that's me backstage. You were an at Aladdin. Look, Aladdin, you're in like yeah. everyone's favorite shows. Yeah. It's crazy. And They're you were what? Like, to do. what were you in Aladdin? Like, that I was before? 18. But you were oh, uh, playing I was, I was the royal like, page. I had one big, big fat line. It was great. What was the line? I said, um, uh, Sultan Hamed sent these royal vestments for you, sire. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nice. And <laughs> now you're in Cats. Yes. And you are Carbuckety. That's me. This is the character that always cracks me up. That, that name just cracks me up. <laughs> you also cover Mr. Mistopheles. I do. Yeah. And that is uh, Ricky Ubeda's playing Mistopheles. Yes. Amazing. He's amazing. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And that number is like, it's like, that's one of the numbers that's actually really different. Yeah. From, from the original, right? Yeah. It's really cool. Um, I like it. So you, the funny thing about Cats is that all these characters have so much um, detail and there's like so much backstory, like because Cats has been around for so long yeah. and there's like Cats wikis yeah. online and you can read all this. So I found out all this weird stuff about Carbuckety. First of all, Carbuckety is the knockabout cat, whatever that means. Sure. So a small, scruffy, tabby and white kitten. You're a kitten. Did you know you were a kitten? I didn't know I was a kitten. You're supposed in to be a kitten. Version, in this version, I am more of a teenage kitten. Oh, they aged you kitten. up? Yeah, they did age me up. For Even months. though you're only 19. Yeah. And you have brown, uh, obviously gold, brown and black stripes. Yes. You're like like sort of yes. light with stripes. But there's also this weird history where like you you're sometimes pounceable. Are you pounceable too? Pounceable and Carbuckety were actually the same person. Right. Back well, it's in the weird. Day. Uh, weird. And now they just decided to split it up. And oh, there is a there is a pounceable. There is a pounceable. Oh, yeah, Sherrod, oh my God! It's been like that's like a pounceable. How do you split a cat? It's like and he's surgery. He's actually a kitten though. That's, kitten. Pounceable's a kitten. Pounceable's a kitten. Carbuckety is, is a teen. This is very informative. Yes. Because I love talking about it because it's so specific. <laughs> and then at one point, like, they just became Mungo Jerry when one production. Okay, so actually, confusing. fun, fun story. Carbuckety and Mungo Jerry have, like, an interesting past. And Rumble Teaser, of course. Um, there's, like, we don't like each other in the show very much at all. We I, kind There's of so much information other. about this. Yeah. So, like, when you go on stage, there are certain characters that are supposed to be your friends... And then certain characters you don't like, other than yeah. Isabella, they're all shady to her. <laughs> and until she sings the song. And uh, so there's all this information, and it actually informs, like, everything you're doing. You're not just dancing. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot of back, back stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's just, it, it's really cool. It's really interesting how, how this whole story just kind of develops into each other, kind of weaves. Yeah. yeah. And, um... And is it, like, crazy to be in it, up in it? I mean, we talked about this a little bit last night. To actually be up there doing the, I mean, you know, the ball and all the dances. I mean, it's just... It, it was, it's it absolutely like? amazing. I mean, just, the, I think that's the word. You, you can't really describe it another way. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. And that's actually a word I used to use a lot when I didn't know how to speak English. Amazing? Was, yeah. That was one of the only <laughs> words I knew. Um, it's amazing. Um, and that's how I used to say it too. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's 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 absolutely incredible. Just you know, Leona Lewis is probably the nicest person. Yeah, what's it been like getting to know ever. her? She's so beautiful. She walked in on set one day, no makeup on, and I died. Died. She's so well, you beautiful. You look good today, considering you died she's at some point. So beautiful. No, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's humble and sweet. And oh my can God. sing her the face off. Most hum- yes. And, I mean, don't even get me started on the singing. Just absolutely incredible. And you guys all get to sort of sit there and watch. Yeah. Right? That's like one moment you don't have to dance. You can just sit there. Yeah, it's an incredible (laughs) treat, really. It is. Uh, So, do you guys have any cats questions? Uh, Kevin said you're cute. cute. Wait, you're on a TV show, too. Right? Uh, yeah. The next step. Yeah, the, the next step. On the Family Channel. On Family Channel. That, that's, that, that. that's like a Canadian show. Yeah, it's a TV Canadian show, TV show uh, that airs in on Family Channel. It's already aired 20 episodes in Canada. 
It's going to air in the UK in September. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. That's about dancers. Yeah. You dance it's about, about it. It's, it's in a dance studio, and I walk up, and I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys who walks in, and then you have to find out what happens for yourselves. Oh, okay. I need to yeah. catch up on that. Yeah. Is it fun? Do you like doing TV? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Honestly, it's so much fun. And you yeah. filmed that in Canada? In Canada, yeah. I was up there for four months. I love Canada so much. It was uh, so beautiful. Uh, Jay Evan is saying thanks for stopping at the stage door for us last night. Of course, on yeah. Opening night. Why wouldn't he? I love watching you pose on the red carpet because you're like a real character. <laughs> you're a real character with your yeah. like hand motions. I was like, I was holding my jacket. I was like, yeah, hey. there's a lot of like. <laughs> so I, I was like, who is this guy? He's a character. I love him. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Cats is at the Neil Simon. Cats is at it's, the Neil it's Simon. It's a big theater, and there is. Somebody just said that there's like a rush. I guess. To too, for cats, is that true? I the cats rush. Yes, I'm sure. gonna say yes. I don't really. Know, uh, but I'm somebody say said. Oh, and I was excited because um, uh, Quentin Earl Darrington, who plays Old Deuteronomy, when I was a kid, I remember that during intermission you could go on stage. Yes. And interact with Old Deuteronomy. Yeah. But last night he just stood there. He just he literally just was like this. Yeah. And honestly, for like 25 minutes. Which I was impressed by, <laughs> by his focus, but he said that they're going to add that in that you can go. Yeah, stage. they will. They will. They they have to fix some things with like security. Like they have to add rails. Ah, to the and they need to make a selfie rule because exactly. everyone can't take a selfie with old Deuteronomy. Exactly. Although I want to go get a selfie with. Amazing old story though. I don't know if you can see this from the audience, but every single day I, I walk out right in that uh, nook. I just like crawl out and I'm like, oh, what's happening? What's happening? I see him. And I'm like, oh, he's mad or sad or because he's crying. He's legitimately. His, there's tears really? in his eyes every single oh, wow. night. I haven't seen him one night where he hasn't had tears in his eyes. Because I mean, wow. you gotta you gotta think about this. The, this one person gets completely excluded out of everything, and you are the leader of this tribe, and you're right. a good leader. You're not right. like, oh yeah, she's excluded. Let's let that pass. Right. Um, you know, you're a good leader, and you want everybody to be happy and be okay. And it it really touches me every night. Yeah. Right. So it's actually an emotional story for you, too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I uh, think that's part of why it's had so much success, yeah, too, you know? Absolutely. Everybody can relate to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's because you guys are up there with so much, like, like so much information. It's not yeah. just, like, it adds a lot of detail yeah. to the show, I think. Uh, so Carrie loved the lighting. The lighting is fabulous. Yes. What's your favorite part about incredible. Carbuckety? Somebody asked that. My favorite part about Carbuckety? He's awesome. He's energetic. <laughs> he does things on impulse. He doesn't think about it twice. He just goes for it. Um, which can be quite horrible sometimes towards Grizabella because Mungo Jerry yeah, you, do mean, you do mean things to her too right yeah so I, mean. I'm, I'm a mean kitty in the beginning um, so yeah but, but Mungo Jerry and, and Pounceable they kind of they're like oh yeah do it do it do it and that kind of really shows that that peer pressure thing yeah of do do something that you don't want to do and they kind of push me into the situation I don't want to be in and then I do what they ask me to do which is kind of scratch her and she gets all upset and I'm I'm sad and I feel bad there's a lot going on up there people. it's a lot it's a it's lot, lot. It's once not you see the show about... you have to see it like a few times hint for and you can watch different people every time right <laughs> yeah. I mean you can watch different people's journey it's not yeah. just about who they're gonna throw on the tire at the end it's a lot going on in this show yeah but there is a big tire <laughs> and actually there's some that cool new, there, I was gonna say and there's some cool new magic at the end I'm just saying it's very different uh, uh, somebody, Bethany loved you in Newsies. Thank you. Uh, Thanks so much. How how is the dancing different from Newsies or Alada? That's an interesting question. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I would I have to say the choreography. Just the choreography yeah. is very different. You know, every person it it really varies from person to person what they do with movement. Um, Andy Blankenbuehler, I think, is is very in the now. Yeah. Uh, he has you know his assistant choreographer. Yeah. He's absolutely incredible with movement. Like hip-hop and lyrical dancing and everything and it just goes to show Hamilton made great success and so yeah. he's doing Cats um, and like Casey Nicola very you know is very different choreography is yeah, from Chris Catelli yeah. yeah yeah everybody uh, all these and then all these guys are so talented there's so much great oh. dance on Broadway right it's amazing yes yeah yes yeah. I mean just absolutely incredible would you like to do a show though where you don't have to dance because you have a great voice too One day, I, thank you I, I watched oh. some of your YouTube videos you have oh, YouTube geez. videos he's been stalking me yeah <laughs> I'm just kidding but, but I'm saying like you, you know having to it's a no, lot, a lot of work I'd love that I mean you know dancing dancing's, dancing's hard Broadway's hard Broadway's Cats, hard Cats is hard being but you're on Broadway yeah, Cats is hard yeah I'm on Broadway four Broadway shows people number four everyone needs to check out this guy <laughs> at the Neil Simon Theater Card Buckety or maybe he'll be on his Mistopolis who knows 
You never know. That could happen, too. Maybe. Uh, and it's all good. And everyone needs to check it out. I loved it. I had a great time last night. And thank you for being here. Thank you. And I'm glad you rested up. And you have to do the show tonight. Here we go. We're here we go. Show. Back in the junkyard. Okay. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow on Live at 5, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.